barring act of hostility. But we're not at war. For decades, the BBC has been at the heart of Britain's cultural life, but its funding model has long been subject to debate. The licence fee, which is mandatory for all households with a TV set, represents the broadcaster's largest source of income. It's now set to be frozen for the next two years, before rising in line with inflation for the following four years. It will remain fixed at £159 until April 2024. That's more money in the pockets of pensioners, in the pockets of families who are struggling to make ends meet. The BBC needs to address issues around impartiality and groupthink. The culture minister said no final decision had been made on the future of the licence fee, but she's previously suggested that it's to be scrapped and replaced by a different funding model. The broadcaster is now warning that some of its services may be forced to close in order to make savings that will amount to hundreds of millions of euros. In a statement, the BBC's chairman and director general said it was disappointing that the corporation would now have to absorb inflation and that the implications of the decision would necessitate tougher choices which would impact licence fee payers. The BBC has previously clashed with the current Conservative government and been forced to defend itself from ministers who accuse it of bias. Critics say the licence fee freeze is politically motivated, with the timing of the announcement aimed at distracting from the Prime Minister's woes. Boris Johnson remains engulfed in a scandal over revelations that parties were held at Downing Street while the country was in lockdown.